We all love our smartphones and tablets, but being app happy can lead to major security breaches. Apps can form a dangerous link between your personal data and hackers on the dark web looking for credit card information, uh, intimate photos, even identities to sell on the cyber black market. Tech analyst Carmi Levy joins us now from London, Ontario. And Carmi, these are things that people really don't think about because they're not even aware that this could happen. Uh, tell us how You're apps and, and mining data comes together. Well, Marcy, the deep web or the dark web, really, it lives on data. It needs to be fed data constantly. And where does that data come from? It comes from the apps that we install. So every time you install an app on your smartphone, your tablet, or your laptop, essentially what you're doing is you're giving it permissions to access different parts of your device. And in many cases, for example, it could include your contact database or other identifiable information. That data, in some cases, stays with the app. In other cases, it's shared far and wide. And so where is all that information that feeds the deep web coming from every time you install an app if you're not careful it could be going places you don't even know so that being said Carmi what kinds of apps what types of apps should we be watching out for well, the big ones are, you know, uh, games. You know, we all love downloading games, especially the free ones. But the thing is, online, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Uh, so when you install a free game, how do those developers get paid? They get paid by trafficking in your data and then serving it up for advertising. So whenever you install a game, take a look at the permissions that it's, that it's, that it's asking for. And in many cases, you'll realize it's going into your contact database, it's going into your search history, your cache, and it's sharing that online. You're also going to want to watch out for social media apps. Uh, two things that you need to pay attention to is one, the initial settings. In most cases, they're set to wide open, so you'll want to tighten those up as well. And then the second thing is how you use social media apps. In many cases, we're oversharing, and of course, that information is being gathered, harvested, and then shared online, shared in the deep and dark web. You also want to pay attention to your browser because we spend lots of time browsing the web. The settings on your browser are also a gateway for sharing information. The web, once a upon a time was just a bunch of web pages that, that didn't really do much, but increasingly websites are dynamic applications and programs in their own right makes it a lot easier to steal data if you don't lock down those settings tightly on your device. So people have to be proactive, Carmi, and they have to know how to protect themselves. And the first thing you say is be extra careful about what you install. Very much so. You know, take a look at the apps that you have on your device and really ask yourself, am I using it? Because if you're not, get rid of it. Because an app that's on your device that isn't being used is still a gateway for a hacker or for a criminal or for someone who wants your data to grab your information and use it. So download what you need. If you're not using it, get rid of it. Also be careful where you're getting the application from. So don't just go to the web and download it from anywhere because you never know what you're getting and it may be coming with a surprise, maybe spyware or malware where only download from legitimate app stores and from legitimate sources that you know have been vetted and you know that they're not criminal in nature. You also want to make sure that the permissions that, that an application asks for uh, aren't sort of making you nervous. For example, a flashlight app, there's no reason that it should be accessing your contact database. If it is, get rid of it, find another flashlight app, or just use the flashlight that's built into your device. And you'll also want to look at your browser security settings. Uh, in many cases, when you install it, they're also set to be very lax to make it easier for you to do stuff but the problem there is it results in you oversharing your information tighten them up a little bit turn cookies off that's a big one so that uh, others outsiders can't get at your information you keep it all to yourself this is great info Carmi Levy joining us how to protect ourselves from the dark web thank you so much thanks Marcy